As uh, increasingly uh, people in Philadelphia know, I'm, uh, uh, I was trained as a choral conductor originally before becoming an uh, orchestral conductor. So my love for choral music is immense and I want to share this with, with my new uh, orchestral family. So we performed Mozart Requiem last season. We'll be performing this season Brahms Requiem and in the future seasons, we will keep uh, uh, performing these wonderful masterpieces because Requiem have very often brought the best out of the great composers that we play. And this Brahms Requiem was one of the very first pieces I conducted as a conductor of uh, instrumental um, pieces and choral. And uh, I'm especially thrilled to have uh, the Westminster Symphonic Choir performing with us. As, I, as a teenager, I spent two summers um, studying choral conducting at the Westminster Choir in Princeton, so I always admired this sound. And for me, it's a very special uh, event in my life to be able to now introduce this piece with them to you. Unlike other Requiem, the Brahms Requiem is not on the Latin text of the Mass of the Dead, which makes it very human. And actually, Brahms intended first that the title would be a human Requiem. And it's very beautiful in its way of its collage of different texts from the Bible, which are very meaningful for his own life. Uh, it has also connections uh, to his uh, own biography because uh, Brahms added the fifth movement with a solo soprano in uh, memory of his mother who had just passed away. And this makes a requiem which sometimes is very imposing, like um, uh, an architecture with a lot of marbles and columns, but at the same time it's very human and intimate. And the, the importance of the orchestra is equal to that of the choir, which makes it also very unusual. It's a very symphonic work and is, in that respect, very adapted to a concert hall when we perform it. Also, it, uh, with anything Brahms has written, it's connected to, to the classical style. He was a big romantic, but he was also uh, knowing the classical style and admiring Handel, Bach, and Mozart, and that's why before the Requiem we'll be performing Bra uh, Mozart's unique 40th symphony in G minor, maybe his best work. <laughs> 